feel like I've been waiting for the longest time for Apple to make the Mac Studio. Every time they released a new computer, whether it is a MacBook, iMac or Mac Pro, there always felt like there wasn't something quite right for me. It was either too expensive, too firmly throttled, not powerful enough or way too powerful. And I always ended up back on my custom PC because my needs always fell somewhere between Apple's lineup. They never had a computer that fitted exactly what I wanted, and especially not in a desktop machine. But the new Mac Studio really changes that. If you could load up a Mac with a bunch of new specs and technologies and then aim it directly at me, you pretty much get the studio. This is the computer I've wanted Apple to make for so many years, and after it was announced, it didn't take me very long to pull the trigger. I picked up the M1 Max variant with a 32 core GPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM and a terabyte of storage. So it's slightly upgraded over the base model, but nothing too crazy. I didn't really feel like I needed to go for the M1 Ultra 2. That base 64 gigabytes of RAM just felt crazy for my workflows. And look, normally I wouldn't make a video this soon about a product, especially not one that costs this much money without giving it a proper go and really getting used to it but it's really impressed me so far and I wanted to talk about it. Okay, so there is one thing I wanna talk about before we get completely started and that was the unboxing experience of this was just absolutely incredible. I made an Instagram reel so I'll post that while I'm talking but the attention to detail from Apple in this packaging was incredible. You can even see at the top, it's kind of got this sort of fabric handle so you can carry it around like that and it's just a really nice safe place for it to come in. I was really, really impressed by that. So I thought I'd at least mention it before we get started. While the Mac is setting up all the apps that I usually use from Adobe, like Photoshop and Lightroom and InDesign and all those sorts of things, there's two areas where I really want this Mac Studio to outpace my custom PC. And to give you some context, my custom PC is a Ryzen 7 5800X build with 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 1070 Ti graphics card and it's SSDs all round, the M2 ones. So it's already very quick, but the two areas where the Mac needs to beat it out on is general use everyday speed. So just opening and closing things and nice smooth performance in all the apps I use. But secondly, and this really is the most important one for me, it needs to outpace it in Premiere Pro because that's my video editor of choice and I know I should switch to Final Cut, but I just haven't done that yet. All of my client workflows are in Premiere Pro, all of my workflows are currently in Premiere Pro, so I really need the Mac to outpace it in those two key areas for me to be completely happy with it. But for now, I'll let it keep installing and we'll see how it goes. Despite picking up the Mac Studio, I didn't actually grab the Studio display to go with it. I think it's a really nice piece of hardware and once again, I really think Apple have nailed the kind of aesthetic of it and it looks perfect with the Studio. But I've actually been really happy with my Dell monitor. It's a U2720Q. I picked it up last year and it's 4K. It's got USB-C power pass-through. Colors are good enough, or at least I'm used to them now and it's sitting on a monitor arm and it just looks kind of awesome. I didn't really feel like the need to go up to the studio and it didn't cost a grand either, so that obviously helps. So you're joining me about three or four hours into having this Mac set up and I wanted to talk about performance and I'm not gonna talk about Geekbench scores or anything like that because I kind of find uh, in real world situations, what do those even mean unless you're like really very specifically tuned. And all I can say is, Wow, when I used the M1 Pro MacBook Pro a while back, um, I was really impressed by how quick everything just felt. It felt like more like an iPad or an iPhone when you open stuff, which is probably what Apple are going for. But on this Mac Studio, that is even more true. Apps open ridiculously quickly, especially ones that are M1, you know, silicon optimized. They're absolutely incredible. I can kind of get through stuff much quicker than my PC could, which is number one point that I wanted to get done. And number two is performance in Premiere Pro is absolutely excellent. And I was so, so worried about it because when I tried an M1 Pro on it a while back on one of the laptops, the performance uh, wasn't great or it wasn't as good as my PC currently is. And uh, that was like a big deciding point for me. So I loaded up my previous video, which was kind of like a, an iPad um, what's on it sort of video. There's about three or four different layers of 4K all at once, loads of uh, little effects and grain textures and all that sort of stuff. 
and this Mac Studio is just absolutely flying through it and I've got it on full on the preview so I don't even have it on um, half which is what I usually have it just to kind of you know there's no need to be on full and it's just absolutely incredible I'm just flying through it now and the fact that it can like run this quickly especially after the bad thing I had with it on the M1 Pro is just awesome you know as far as my needs are concerned this is handling it really well so I couldn't be more excited about it and also one of the other big things is export times because when I tried the M1 Pro out the export time was way way slower than my PC and you know my PC would always crush it in export times probably thanks to the big beefy graphics card but this Mac Studio super happy to report my export time on my last video which is about 11 minutes long took around 15 minutes on my PC which I'm totally happy with that's just over real time play and I hit export on here and it was getting it out in about six and a half to seven minutes, which is like double what my PC was doing in terms of export times, which is so awesome. That's exactly what I hoped for. So in terms of performance for me, this is awesome. And I tried out my other apps as well, like Lightroom, Photoshop and, and InDesign. Those apps ran fine anyway, and they just run nice and smoothly on here too. So from me, from a creator's perspective, someone that edits video all the time, when it comes to Premiere Pro, this thing's killing it and I couldn't be happier about it. And not to mention when I was exporting that video, the fan didn't even come on or if it did, I didn't hear it. And I put my hand at the back of the Mac to see if I could feel any hot air kicking out and it was all super cool. Whenever I use my PC to export things, let me show you, um, I put my hand on top here and it's usually like really, really hot or so it's pretty hot, which is why uh, Pocky loves sitting on it so much. But on this Mac, um, put my hand at the back and getting absolutely nothing apart from cool air is absolutely ridiculous. The elephant in the room is obviously gaming. And look, I didn't really pick up the Mac Studio to play games on. In fact, gaming on PC has become less and less important to me as the years have gone on. And honestly, consoles have gotten so good now that I don't really feel like I'm missing out, especially not in a graphic sense, not anymore. However, I know it's really important to some people out there, and yep, you can completely get a cheaper PC that will absolutely crush the Mac Studio when it comes to gaming. And if that's really important to you, then you should get a PC because this thing really isn't made for that and you'll have a lot more success over on Windows. I'm going to spend some more time with this computer before giving you a full rundown of it because I've not really used it long enough to really, really get used to it. But I did want to make this video because so far, this Mac Studio has been exceeding my expectations and I couldn't be happier with how it's performing. But do stay tuned because I'm going to be working on a much larger video for it soon. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then pop a like on the way out. That would be massive and I will see you all in the next one.